Hello, good afternoon. Uh, today we are talking again journalism, a profession, and uh, is it an endangered profession in Africa? Uh, what is your take? Why am I focusing on journalism? When you look at the divided communities, divided societies, correct information can be the reason why people get united, get to talk to each other. And uh, we have been talking before this show earlier on with uh, Sonia, who is with the Amadi uh, Training Institute. She was going to join us, but uh, I see her number is not getting through. It was meant for her and us to better define what this profession is and is not. And I was talking to Mbai earlier on. Mbai, good afternoon. Good afternoon, say, how are you? How are you? I'm fine. Sorry about that. My <laughs> network. Yeah. I mean, sorry, my network is playing here. Okay, uh, no problem. Just, that's why you see like I'm, I'm a bit all over the place. Okay, no, that's sweating. fine. Yeah. You but go ahead, say, I'll, I'll, I'll listen as much as I can once I try to reboost this. All right, no, that's fine. Yeah, this is a conversation for everybody. If you are watching and uh, you know what a profession is, you know what a journalist is, then let's uh, build a tent around this idea of one profession at a time. Then we may be able to better understand why professionalism it's, uh, exists in the affairs of human beings. And yeah. the service charter, who are you a professional to? And uh, we carry so many identities. We learn so hard only to arrive at a destination where we are all human beings. Yet in life, we actually pretend we operate in silos. So if you are a carpenter or you are called a carpenter, you actually start behaving as if you're a carpenter. If you are an undertaker, you start behaving as if you are an undertaker. If you are a journalist, you start protecting the profession. Even if you are doing nothing to celebrate it, whatever you do in the name of a profession, if you are proud of your profession, then by all means, let your work show for it. There are far too many people who claim titles and forget to do the work that gives them the title. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So where shall we learn? So today we're just talking about journalism. If you agree with us, that the people who are called journalists are the very people who don't want to be taught anything. They don't want to be corrected by the people they serve. So anyone who corrects you is your friend because you can do better. But imagine you are celebrated for doing that which undermines the very profession that others may need to derive a living. Can you see how cruel we are at the push of a button? We're already broadcasting. And every broadcast we make, and we are tra not trained to do that, it means we are redefining the profession of journalism. So when Sonia and I were talking earlier on, they have courses on journalism. But most of the people who call themselves journalists, 
actually have never defended the profession so that less of us can be in it and you can distinguish between those who are trained and those who are untrained but celebrated journalists who have the courage to speak truth to power may actually not be practicing journalists but activists who use the word the voice to inform educate and even entertain so that's way we way before and on your side uh if you can speak from that side eh uh, by you can add your word of wisdom to this subject matter <laughs> Okay, uh, to my side, um, like I said, sorry, I'm, I'm going all over the place trying to revive my network here so that we can okay. communicate better. Uh, but what I can say is definitely, you know, we have situations where most of us, or at least some of us, and I'm one of them, who can we have come to, to notice that, you know, if you have access to social, uh, to, to internet, you can broadcast whatever you want to say. And it's all up to you, or it's all up to me to say, what is it that I can put out there? And I don't need anyone to come and edit it for me. It's uh, what I am giving in. So if I don't use um, my, 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 like what I know, to chill, like how to research and how to check things out to see that the information is correct. Yes, I'll give it their straight face, like, you know what, this is what it is. And those that information can be helpful to all those who hear it, but it can also be damaging if it's not done properly. So that's where we are coming back again to say, you know what, if you are a journalist and you see that people who are sharing the information, they're not doing it rightly, Right, maybe stand up and uh, and help correct that if that that problem that is there, that people who have no clue of what proper journalism is are just sharing information and freedom of speech to say yes, we can share that information, but are we doing it well? Are we building or are we destroying? Because like we are saying, like now everyone who is a, a a gadget that can you know take pictures that can um take videos so anybody everywhere has the potential of picking things up and sharing it but what eh, no yeah no and uh whatever information that we have to share is it information that is building or is destroying people you are not yet not with that in you, that's the wrong thing to do. It's so that's uh, when by who was talking, she still has a uh, multitask because uh, uh, we ambushed her. Yeah? The, she still has to deal with uh, some of uh, the issues that are at home. What do you call here? Yeah? Can you call you a journalist? <laughs> Can you call you a mother? Can you call you a woman? Can you call you a wife? But all those titles are describing one person. It doesn't mean that she will be a mother after being a mother. It remains the same person. She doesn't change personality because of giving birth. But some of us acquire the titles we use on different stages. So we become journalists, not because we want to be journalists, but what is a journalist who can provoke that conversation around journalism it's just one of many masks that we wear in life 
some derive a living out of calling themselves something they are not, something they have no passion for, but they may have the skills to do something. But the public is not looking for skills. The public is looking for the truth in the facts that are then shared, that then create divisions among people. So if we are divided because of interpretation, half of the people saying the glass is half full, another saying it's half empty. What if the facts are properly told? Would we not see the glass using the same lens and indicating where we want to go with the facts that are then part of that dispute. So are you able to talk now on your side uh, in by uh, so that we don't take too much of your time? Uh, I think you have muted yourself. Okay. Okay. Unmuted now. Okay, sorry about that once again. Um, you know, so I believe to the, in today's world, when when I, like I said, like I talk of, like I've learned to talk about myself again, to say when I have to start thinking that whatever information I share, whether it's somebody who is giving it to me or it's somebody who, who that I'm passing it on, what is the message behind it, and am I and what is the reason why I am sharing it? Am I sharing because, you know, like it's just a good to know information or it's information that is supposed to help somebody? So I think that's where it all starts with each and every one of us when we are sharing information. Of course, and then we look on one side to say those who are professionals in the field, it's good for them to give us the proper information so that, you know, when we have as, 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 as consumers correct information, we can make wise decisions or informed decisions. And, you know, info, by making informed decisions, it can be that, you know, we know the facts and we know why things happen and we still go on and do wrong things or choose to do wrong things or the so-called wrong things. It's still okay. But then we cannot come back later on and cry that we acted unknowingly because we knew all the information that is there to know. So I think, you know, this is where proper journalism comes in to say, give us the consumers proper information and those who want to be like really journalists they can get uh, like you know the, the proper training because it's not just about having certificates we were talking about it earlier on that it doesn't mean that because you have a certificate you are pre well prepared for the job you know you have your certificates yes it, it shows that you know you have learned something but then have the real experience of knowing how to do the practical experience and combine your certificate and the practical experience so that we have proper information and proper doing of the job correctly according to the standards of the, of the field. Because I think every field is called like its code of practice and how things should be done in that department. And I think for journalists, it's called the same. Because journalism or journalists can destroy people and they can build people as well. All right. And uh, uh, if we look at uh, this business of uh, solving problems, mm -hmm. do you think you can solve a problem without knowing what the problem is? <laughs> no, we have to first define what is the problem. So if identity is the problem, who am I is the biggest problem and the stumbling block. Mm -hmm. What is a journalist in a polarized in a normal environment? Do you think this conversation digging deeper to identify what a journalist is from different perspectives? so that we can develop or negotiate a shared understanding is important and vital. Yes. So if you think it's important, please join us 
and be part of the conversation to dig deeper, to identify what journalism is and what journalism is not mm. and what are the standards that we must use mm. or to use to be able to test whether a story or a broadcast meets the standards expected from that profession. If you think it's important to have this conversation, have a series of them so that we can then allow ourselves to find the, the diversity of your opinion around this question, only to the extent that it can help all of us to find each other on what to expect and what to look up to in terms of the best stories of our time, what should be the elements, what should mm -hmm. be the properties of such stories. Mm -hmm. So do you think it's important for this question to be thoroughly interrogated until somebody thinks we are concerned about this profession? Uh, go ahead. Yeah, definitely. I think it is. You know, like I was saying to somebody that yesterday, you know, two days ago, somebody sent me an audio way of something that happened two years ago. And the way I was looking at it, it would have fitted now to say, oh, this is what is going on now in the country, you know, like, uh, because, you know, like being me being a political person. So somebody sent me this information. And, you know, because I, I, I did talk about it with, my, with the people around me, and then we sent it to somebody outside our circles to say, can you check this thing up? And it was checked and it was seen that it was something that happened like two years ago. And among us, we had already started looking at the, at the video and scrutinizing it. So like, okay, there aren't any masks there. There, are, there isn't this, that, there isn't that. Where we are starting to say, you know what? Why is, the, why is this coming to me like now? And oh, the person who is sending it to me might have had the intention to say like, you know what? Uh, let me just share with you what somebody else shared with. But at the end of the day, if that is such a situation, it's just one example that if it's read in the wrong, wrong, wrong context, it will have mean meant like, ah, you know what, these big guys in the country, they are busy meeting each other, though they are telling everybody else, they are fighting, they are disagreeing. So why are they lying to us? And then I will take it from that side of the story to say like, they are busy lying and they would go like running with it. But at the end of the day, that is wrong information. So what I'm saying is, uh, if for me, it would be like be really good and really great if journalists or those who are in that field would take up that, you know, like especially like I'm saying for Zimbabwe particularly, there is so much wrong information going around. And to say, you know what, may we have the facts from those who are qualified for the job. But like I said, already you are already talking about the, a profession without defining this character called journalist. Uh, do you agree that we can leave it there to think about what a journalist is to you as an idea, not in practice? Then we can yes. build a standard. As yes, we could. Yes, we could. Okay. But do so we I have journalists listening? Who can come no, and, defi no, and defend no, this, ti this title? Don't worry about the dog that may not listen and continues <laughs> to bark. But what we're trying to do is to understand the idea mm. and the ideal without us pushing further on the reality of what we see and use that to test what the idea behind the first journalist was in a society, in a community, in mm. a family, you are, you are a journalist. And yeah. somebody says, why didn't you become a teacher? Why didn't you become a doctor? And say, no, this is the profession that is critical in building bridges. Mm. 
then you find yourself, your profession is uh, in disrepute because of the conduct and choices of others. So we want to go back to this. What is a doctor? What is a teacher? And see whether the idea of a teacher when tested against the reality of teaching in today's world are the same. Is there any variation? Is variations are there. No, no, it's not for this one now. It's just for us to test the idea, mm. for, just to discipline ourselves so that we are known as a, a festival of ideas rather than a festival of practical expression. Then we need 7 billion people. We need the whole population to talk. All we're saying, if we can find each other on ideas, yeah. then we can invest in ideas so that we increase the population of people who share the same idea, the same ideology, mm -hmm. and perhaps strive toward the same ideal of yeah. what is to be expected. So I think that is all we can do for today. Those who are interested in ideas, a battle of ideas, a rebellion of ideas, informed by ideas. So we don't want to talk about the reality of what it means to be a journalist. Then it means we are attacking some people and not attacking others. If there's no idea that we can agree to, then who am I to criticize a person with a drive, without a driver's license when everyone who is driving does not have a driver's license? So we must start <laughs> with the idea of giving keys to somebody who has never driven an automobile. Yeah. Mm. And that idea alone leads to phone calls coming to you to say, boss, your, your car is gone. Mm -hmm. Say, gone way. Say, I'm just telling you that your car is dead. And yeah. I made a mistake. I killed it. Because <laughs> I'm not trained to yeah. drive it. Yeah. And how many people are editors, sub editors, news editors? Mm -hmm. they, they don't know. Yeah. Like we're saying that the technology of today is allowing that and it's also encouraged, but you know, maybe we should like look deeper. Like you're saying, we should look deeper. Yeah, so I think let us uh, convey on the idea with a conversation with uh, Wildfire. Let's hear him. And uh, when you say that you are not visible and he says, no, tell me why I'm not visible. And uh, a client will just walk away and say, if I'm if I'm not yet, I'm not understood, why should I waste my time? So yeah. what is the yeah, client service provider charter? How do we make sure that the customer is always right? Mm -hmm. And then if you tell me that I'm not doing my best, that's an encouragement for me to do something better. And every yeah. day I'll be asking you, how am I doing? Am I living up to the standard of what you expect of me? Because mm -hmm. you are my mm -hmm. boss. Anyone who complains about your service, it means that person is the boss. Because they want you to improve. Yeah. But people who want you to improve, they never complain. Because it's not necessary to argue at the point of sale. Mm -hmm. I place an order then I must get the service that I think I deserve. The moment I get less than what I think I deserve, then the contract is wrong. Yeah. And nobody would be want to, to be party to a contract that is defective. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I can only say thank you. We'll try to get hold of our sister Sonia so that right. we understand and what uh, what has happened and uh, she had promised to be with us uh, 
Uh, we can't hear you. Oh, sorry. I said yes, we will check it out. We will check it All out right. and we'll wait to hear from her. And then once she's available, then we can do we can do it again. We have another another session. Because she is coming right. from the professional. That's right. From admin yeah. of a service provider. So yes. let's talk. What is the role of admin? What does she do? And yes. why if in the C2C admin is critical? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right then. Okay, thanks. We'll, we'll take it from there.